The primary mechanism underlying the disease process of atopic dermatitis is not completely understood. Atopic dermatitis is a multifactorial, highly pruritic, chronic inflammatory skin disease that results from complex interactions between susceptibility genes, resulting in defects in skin barrier function, defects in the innate immune system, and heightened immunologic responses to allergens and microbial toxins. Skin injury by scratching, environmental allergens, or microbial toxins activates keratinocytes to release pro-inflammatory cytokines and chemokines, which subsequently induce expression of adhesion molecules on the vascular endothelium. These events initiate the process of inflammatory cell tethering, activation, and adhesion to the vascular endothelium, followed by extravasation of inflammatory cells into the skin. Once inflammatory cells have infiltrated into the skin, they hone in on the site of injury by following a chemotactic gradient established by chemokines emanating from the site of tissue injury or infection. Activation of T-cells results in the release of additional cytokines, promoting proliferation of inflammatory cells, leading to a cascade of cytokines, histamine, and other inflammatory mediators that cause vasodilation, increased vascular permeability, and further migration of inflammatory cells into the skin. This results in the clinical signs and symptoms of atopic dermatitis, including erythema, edema, and pruritus. Taking a closer look at activation of T-cells within the skin of the atopic dermatitis patient, it has been shown that inflammatory dendritic epidermal cells and Langerhans cells present environmental antigens to the T-cell. Presentation of the antigen to the T-cell initiates a complex intracellular cascade that culminates in the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Specifically, Presentation of environmental antigens triggers a rise in intracellular calcium, causing calmodulin to mobilize calcineurin, a calcium threonine dependent phosphatase. Calcineurin, in turn, dephosphorylates cytoplasmic nuclear factor of activated T cell protein, also known as NFAT. Dephosphorylation of cytoplasmic NFAT permits translocation to the nucleus, where, after combining with its transcriptional subunits, such as AP1, it can activate transcription of various Th1 and Th2 cytokine genes, such as IL-2, IL-4, and IL-13. Protopic ointment, both 0.03% and 0.1% for adults, and only 0.03% for children aged 2 to 15 years, is indicated as second-line therapy for the short-term and non-continuous chronic treatment of moderate to severe atopic dermatitis in non-immunocompromised adults and children who have failed to respond adequately to other topical prescription treatments for atopic dermatitis or when those treatments are not advisable. Protopic is not indicated for children younger than two years of age. The mechanism of action of protopic is not known. While the following have been observed, the clinical significance of these observations in atopic dermatitis is unknown. Within the T-cell, protopic binds to an intracellular protein called FK506 binding protein 12, also known as FKBP12. FKBP12, when bound to tacrolimus, binds to and inhibits the calcium, calmodulin, and calcineurin complex. This inhibits the activation of calcineurin, which in turn suppresses the dephosphorylation and subsequent nuclear translocation of cytoplasmic NFAT. In the absence of nuclear NFAT, the ability of T cells to synthesize and secrete inflammatory cytokines, such as IL-2, IL-3, IL-4, IL-5, GMCSF, and TNF-alpha, is attenuated. Additionally, tacrolimus inhibits the release of inflammatory mediators, such as histamine, from skin mast cells and basophils and down-regulates the expression of FC-epsilon-R1 on dendritic cells, including Langerhans cells. In turn, 
blocking the synthesis and secretion of cytokines, breaks the chain of inflammatory events. Protopic ointment, both 0.03% and 0.1% for adults, and only 0.03% for children aged 2 to 15 years, is indicated as second-line therapy for the short-term and non-continuous chronic treatment of moderate to severe atopic dermatitis in non-immunocompromised adults and children who have failed to respond adequately to other topical prescription treatments for atopic dermatitis or when those treatments are not advisable. Protopic is not indicated for children younger than two years of age. Warning, long-term safety of topical calcineurin inhibitors has not been established beyond one year of non-continuous use. Although a causal relationship has not been established, rare cases of malignancy, for example skin and lymphoma, have been reported in patients treated with topical calcineurin inhibitors, including protopic. Therefore, continuous long-term use of topical calcineurin inhibitors, including protopic, in any age group should be avoided, and application limited to areas of involvement with atopic dermatitis. The diagnosis of atopic dermatitis should be confirmed if signs and symptoms do not improve within six weeks. Protopic is contraindicated in patients with a history of hypersensitivity to tacrolimus or any other component of the ointment. The most common adverse events associated with the use of protopic included the sensation of skin burning, pruritus, flu-like symptoms, and headache. The use of protopic should be avoided on known or suspected malignant lesions. The use of protopic on patients with Netherton's syndrome or similar skin diseases is not recommended. Patients should minimize or avoid natural or artificial sunlight exposure. Skin infections should be cleared prior to application, and there may be an increased risk of certain skin infections. Protopic should not be used with occlusive dressings.